All right, fuckers, it's time. Uh, we're gonna release the sauce. Uh, this is Golden Ticket. This is my baby. Uh, <laughs> this deck is incredibly fun. This is one of my favorite takes on trains, uh, as you know. Pretty partial to the deck. Um, I've been waiting to release this for a hot minute, uh, for what it's worth. I actually recorded this video uh, a while ago and then ended up deleting it because I just didn't feel as if though the build was right. Uh, I'm still not 100% on the build. I, I don't know. I've, just, I've tried so many different things with it, so I, who's to say what's right, what's wrong? Um, this is my current take on it, uh, for what it's worth. Uh, I do think that it is rather refined. Um, I don't... I don't know. The deck... So, I guess the point of the deck is to capitalize on the Eldritch shit to hold your opponent off and then be able to OTK with the train shit. Uh, the two engines, obviously... Uh, have some synergy in regards to Eldritch being level 10. The trap cards are level 5s, which you can go into River Stormer. Um, so I, I, conceptually, yes, the deck is incredibly fun. There are definitely some things that I like. It does require some intricate play. Not everything has synergy. Uh, like Curse Elden can stop you from attacking. Uh, what's nice though is Anger Knuckle and Elden can help turn off all of your floodgates. Skill Drain is at 3, which is why this deck is like. <sighs> I was playing it before Skill Drain was at 3, but Skill Drain is my favorite trap card, and as soon as that shit went to 3, I knew that I was going to be playing uh, this again, at least for a minute. Uh, this is... I, I don't really know how to describe it. It's an incredibly fun version of the deck. Um, in terms of being able to try something a little bit different, yes, there's all sorts of different fun tech cards that you can play in this. It is a rather unconventional deck. Uh, I was playing, like, Heat Wave for a while, and that shit just absolutely catches people out of nowhere, like, on left field. So... Um, I don't know, like, just by all means, play around with it, let me know what you guys think. Uh, my channel did recently reach over a thousand subscribers, which was sick. Thank you, everybody, that's really cool. Uh, obviously I didn't really have an end goal with this in mind, but, uh, I figured this is, like, a cool way at least celebrating it, so, on to, you know, much more bullshit content, but, uh, seriously, guys, thank you for having us get this far. Uh, so we're gonna get into this bullshit. So... To Eldritch, the Golden Lord. Uh, he's the obviously the conductor of this bullshit. Uh, I don't think three is needed, though. Uh, two Pegasus. Uh, we did have to kind of cut down on our ratios a little bit here, but two seems to be working out pretty all right. Two Daracrane. Uh, I had tried this out at three, uh, and opening up double Daracrane uh, two times that night at Locals convinced me to take it back down to two. Two seems to be operating pretty okay. Uh, two bullets. Uh, again, I was I had this at three. I've chopped it down to one. I'm sorry, to two. Uh, it seems to be working all right. You realistically only need one uh, to get your plays, or I guess like your recursion going. Uh, but again, two seems to be pretty okay. Three Night Express Knight. Uh, between the two Pegasus and the three Night Express, you're playing five normal summons. Uh, but with cards like Skill Drain and whatnot in the deck, um, I mean, it, the card capitalizes on Skill Drain pretty hard. You can see that in my replays. I had a... Uh, uh, match where I literally had to go second. I normal summoned him and set four pass, and on his turn, I ended up flipping the skill drain. He couldn't get over it. So, uh, Night Express Knight actually has some pretty good utility. Uh, Machinist Citadel. Uh, this is, oh man, let's see if I can get that to clear up a little bit. Or is that just, yeah, why is it? Damn, that's so much clearer. Okay, word. Uh, Machinist Citadel. So, this, again, this is an experimental card, but with DPE and all the destruction, uh, I guess, affects DPE being the main one. This seems like a pretty good card. Uh, it does suck to open it, uh, by all means, but uh, as long as you have ways of getting into your graveyard, it's pretty uh, versatile. It does add a very nice grind element to the deck. Uh, that is it for the monsters. So that's four, six, eight, ten. So 12 monster cards uh, for the spells, and I guess we'll do spells. Uh, so one Foolish uh, gives you access to Golden, Bullet, or Citadel, or I guess any target that you want for Pegasus. Uh, but it is kind of a nice extender. I've found it to be nice if you need access to Golden Lord to get him on the field. Uh, Called by the Grave, uh, again, decent one of in terms of stopping hand traps, anything that's going to be that much of a detriment. But obviously it is good enough to still be played at one. One Terraforming, uh, simply because we are doing... Two switch art. I think I'm playing one mine in the side deck, so it does help add uh, or search that for games two or three. Uh, but yeah, two switch yard, uh, two curse Elden. I know that I'm gonna get ripped on for like having all these two of ratios, but fuck you guys, it's my deck. Um, curse Elden. Uh, 
Uh, these two cards in tandem are absolutely amazing together. Being able to add any of the trap cards and then pitch those for any of the Earth Machine monsters that you need, or hell, even searching Golden Lord. Um, but if you have these two cards rolling, you're typically more times than not going to win that game. Uh, two urgent schedule because the ratios with twos are amazing because you want to see it sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, this is urgent schedule is amazing as well because obviously you can uh, going second it does what it's supposed to do, but you can also sir or I'm sorry send this with Golden Lord's effect to search any of the monsters that you need to continue your plays. Um, just to kind of spicy a little. It, Golden Lord and Anger Knuckle act like very respectively the same in terms of like the way that they're able to clear off your spells and traps. Uh, so it is kind of nice that you have both of those engines being able to work for you. This I tried out last night and I think it's decent. Um, my biggest problem with the deck when I recorded it the first time was I, there was no draw power. Um, so I don't own Prosperities, so I said, fuck it, what else can we play that's not extravagance? And I landed on Performa Pal Popper Up. Or, yeah, Popper Up. Uh, this card essentially allows you to dump three up to three cards out of your hand, and then you get to draw that many cards. If it works, that'd be cool, and it's not going to do shit. Why the fuck? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so then top three cards from your hand to the graveyard, blah, blah, blah. Draw that many cards. But it's essentially, it's a dump three, draw three. Um... In terms of being able to unload your trap cards, though, and your whatever monster cards you need in Grave, it obviously is not going to work out every time, but in theory, I mean, it is pretty sweet. When it goes off, it goes off. Uh, that is what I'm testing right now for the engine. If you come up with something better or you have prosperities, by all means, go for that shit. Um, but the card is kind of nutty because it allows you to have live Eldritch cards turn one and still set up your board and draw into your floodgates, which is what we're playing. Uh, like cracked out floodgates. Three skill drain, again, best trap card in the game. Uh, you can literally fight me if you think otherwise, but I love knowing that people have spent hours perfecting their combos. I've done it myself just to come to locals and have skill drain flipped up over on them. They can't do shit. Uh, three summon limit. Again, we're capitalizing on, if you open up skill drain summon limit, you're pretty much good to go. Um, but these are kind of the bread and butter of the deck. They help lock everything down. Uh, two solemn strike. Card is busted going first or second. Um, but if I had a third ulti, I would play it, but boy does not. Uh, three elixir, three conch, and two aquero uh, for the eldritch lineup. But that is it in its main deck form as of right now. Uh, I did take out the imperms and whatnot uh, just to make room for the pop up. So no hand traps. It is a little. I mean, obviously, we're trying to go first and dump everything out of our hand and draw into the back row and whatnot. But this is, in essence, as the deck is sitting uh, for the main. So, 40 cards. And I guess, for what it's worth, uh, your turn one plays are typically going to look like Dora uh, with back row or your anger or field spell. I don't know. Like, you're, you're not going first with trains is weird. I'm not going to lie. But... You're able to like make a door up and then flip over like summon limit on them or something and then on their turn and then just slap on leave and attack over there too. I mean there's so many fun ways that the deck can catch your opponent off guard. Also, it's fun to play with like the Eldritch engine and then drop the train engine. Same thing with like the sky striker chains. Like you unload one engine, completely make them choose their line of play for that, and then you hit them with like the train shit and they're like, whoa, what the fuck? Sky Strikers was a little bit easier because you broke their board with all the Sky Striker shit and then you started dropping train cards. Uh, we'll put that right there. Cool. Uh, let's do extra. So, extra deck. One Link Spider. Uh, this is simply just for getting the traps off the field. Uh, actually, I had a super spicy play where someone Nibiru'd my Anger Knuckle during the end of my main phase. I had Anger Knuckle and Field Spell. And so he Nibiru'd me, and Anger Knuckle went to Grave. I tributed the, or made the Nibiru token into Link Spider, and then used Anger Knuckle to bring himself back out of Graveyard, and he wasted the Nibiru, essentially. But Link Spider has great utility in this deck. Uh, if it were a machine, that would be the only thing that could make that fucking thing better. There needs, oh my god, if it were an Earth Machine. <gasps> Amazing. Uh, two, double-headed Anger Knuckle. Uh, it's the boy. 
Uh, he's the best link train card. Uh, he helps generate so much goddamn advantage for this deck. It's not even funny. Um, I wouldn't say it's required at two, but I enjoy playing the second one. One Pentastag, just for... Uh, it is nice having a generic link too that you can just get any two effect monsters into. Uh, one BLS link. If anyone has an ulti that they want to trade me, let's talk. Let's see if that works. Makes it a little clearer. Nope. Doesn't matter. Uh, one River Stormer. Uh, this is spicy because both Conk and Hakuero, uh, whenever they are summoned, they become a level 5 on the field. So you can overlay any combination of two of these into River Stormer and either search or foolish burial any Earth Machine monster you need from deck. So that's a very niche instance that comes up, but it is kind of cool that your two uh, engines have that kind of synergy. Uh, one Sky Palace, Gengar Die. Uh, it's a train card, so we're still playing that shit. Two Gustav, Max. Two Dora. Two Lieb. And two Zeus. Uh, all the waifu train cards are still there. It's unfortunately pretty cut and dry. You're still trying to OTK with the train engine. So the only difference is there's a Link Spider now. <laughs> um, I'm pretty comfortable with, as everything sits, I don't really think I would change too much. There's really not a whole lot of, I mean, unless there's like some super spicy links that I'm not thinking of, but uh, I mean, you could play uh, like, uh, I've, I, for once, I've played this for quite a while, so I've tried out a lot of shit in the extra deck. Uh, Ancient Gear Ballista can pop your back row, which that's kind of cheeky. Uh, Pleiades is another level five option. You could run like a Volcasaurus guy, the Thunder Charger combo, uh, like quite literally anything that gives you access to the rink. Uh, five engine is not bad, but River Stormer tends to be where I. It's it's so spicy. Why why would you not? Uh, what do we got? Side deck. Uh, side decks on that bullshit as per usual, but you know that we make it work. Uh, two Jizukiru, uh going second at say a level ten. If you draw both, it's an extender. You can search it off of urgent schedule. Never forget, boys and girls. Uh, and it's just the best kaiju. And again, obviously the deck is geared to go first, so side deck is oriented at going second. Uh, red reboot, uh, best trap card in the game. So we're playing it. Uh, three evenly matched. Uh, this card absolutely fucking sucks to get hit by. Uh, it happens, but, uh, yeah, it's good enough still. I, I mean, it just kind of shits on enough decks, especially rogue shit. Uh, spells, two cosmic. Uh, we are playing one mystic mine. Um, this is because we have terraforming. Uh, we know that we're going second. It just kind of gives us a nice option, uh, if we need to draw into our shenanigans, uh, if we need to hit, like, pause in the game for a while. Again, not a huge fan of using Mystic Mind, but if, in terms of, like, a competitive standpoint, uh, it works. Uh, three Lightning Storm and three Dark Ruler No More, just for the big bad board-breaking cards. Uh, I do not own Droplets. Uh, you could play Chalices as well. Chalices is not bad. Heat Wave is another super solid option. Uh, that's... I mean, more or less, I, I don't know what else I would really put aside. I mean, you can do Twin Twisters, whatever you feel like, but this is pretty uh, across-the-board standard. Um, that's pretty much it for the deck, guys. Uh, again, seriously, I kind of waited well to put this up, but I really hope you guys like it. I think it's at a pretty fun spot where I'm comfortable putting it out, letting people uh, play around with it a little bit. Obviously, if you guys have any good ideas, let me know. Um, all open... Uh, but yeah, that's that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hopefully it didn't take too, too, too long to get out to you. But uh, yeah, go uh, fuck up your locals with some golden ticket. Obviously, yeah, I coined that name, goddammit. I don't even care who else plays the deck. I just want to be the one responsible for coming up with the name golden ticket. I think that's so schnazzy. Um, otherwise, that's it, guys. Thank you so much.